Hi everyone, welcome back to Monday Meds. Yes, I hope your week is off to a great start. I hope your Sunday was good and now it's Monday, so Monday Meds is here. Welcome back to those who have been joining me all these weeks and months. And um, for those who are just joining us, welcome, welcome to all those who I met last week. Shout out to um, Rosabelle, thank you so much. For your help with my new phone yes guys I did tell you last week I dropped my phone fell while doing my video and um, it got damaged yes I had to replace it and this is actually a new phone thank God for that and so shout out thank you Rosabelle for your help um, last week shout out to you and um, shout out to all those who I met during last week and even yesterday shout out to Christopher yes I hope one day you'll really get a chance to go to Jamaica again and um, shout out to Ryan and Deb and all the others that I met yesterday shout out to you guys and welcome welcome to Monday Meds and so we've been for the past two weeks we've been talking about salt and the benefits of salt I've talked about um, the best salt the Himalayan salt the um, talked about table salt I've also talked about Epsom salt and also talked about sea salt and um, if you have not watched those videos yet go check them out I will not repeat what I said since the videos are there um, so this week what we're gonna be talking about is we're actually gonna talk about the um, the effects the effects or the negative effects of low sodium and too much sodium low sodium and high sodium and so um, yeah let's go in let's go in so low sodium you know can cause it can cause stroke it can cause heart disease or heart attacks it can cause um, loss of appetite it can also cause um, brain um, swelling in the brain it can also cause muscle cramps it can cause confusion yes do you ever feel confused maybe you need water maybe you just need some salt and um, so the um, low sodium this is one reason why we should not cut salt out of our diet like I said to you um, in my previous videos salt is good we just need to know the right amount that we take each and every day and um, the World Health Organization recommends that we take about a 1,500 grams a milligram sorry of um, sodium that's about three quarter teaspoon <laughs> of salt um, which um, so sodium salt is sodium and uh, chloride and so sodium salt is 40 percent sodium and 60 percent chloride so if you're to get the proper amount of sodium in your diet you got to think about the amount of um, sodium that is in salt okay so um, so for those who take out sodium out of your diet you're setting yourself up you definitely want to make sure you have the right amounts um, so between 1500 milligrams to 2300 milligrams maximum per day and um, what I would like to encourage us to, um, I will be sharing a video on this soon, on reading labels. You got to make sure you check the labels, not just for um, high people with high blood pressure or for high sodium, but you got to know what sodium level or content is in your food that you're eating. That way you will know how much you need to have or how much you not need to have, but how much you're getting from that particular food. So, um... So you know that I and I did talk about this in in one of my videos, um, but I'll say this that we do when we perspire we do lose water through sweat and we also do lose salt or sodium we lose sodium um, when we sweat when we vomit when we have a diarrhea um, when you know even people with kidney problems do lose salt and um, sodium and that's another thing if you have um, you can gain you can get kidney problems if you have low sodium and also if you have too much sodium in your diet um, it's, it's interesting that some of these the things that cause some of the things that are um, 
linked to or the illnesses that are linked to high low sodium is also linked to high sodium and this tells me that moderation is key in our salt intake and our sodium intake and that is why we shouldn't cut it out um, totally we shouldn't just throw it out unless it's really not the, the best salt. Um, like I told you, the Himalayan salt is the best, but if you don't have that, the second to that is the sea salt. And so um, we definitely want to make sure we have enough sodium in our diet. Now, you may, you may be taking too much salt or too much sodium, and that can cause, that can cause heart problems, that can ca um, cause um, even cause muscle cramps also it can also cause headaches um, guys yes you can get you if you have migraine headaches especially those may be caused through sodium like too much sodium or even too little sodium um, also it can cause heart attack heart, heart attack it can cause um, stroke um, it can cause so many illnesses and of course we know it can cause high blood pressure or hypertension and next week guys join me next week as I will talk about I will go into hypertension high blood pressure what it is what is it and how you can treat it naturally um, before I go I'd like to um, say this point that um, according to the World Health Organization they say that 2.5 million people globally could have been saved if they had just had some limit on their salt or sodium intake. Can you imagine that? 2.5 million people in the world could be saved annually. That is every year if they had proper salt intake. And so guys, what I'm going to encourage you is to Avoid the, the processed foods, avoid the pre-packaged foods, avoid the red meat, avoid, I know for my Jamaican family and friends, you like the salt fish, you like the um, salt mackerel, you like the red herring. I used to like, love the red herring, you know, but those we know we dry, the, you know, we preserve them with salt. That's the coarse salt and that of course obviously is not good for you guys. So, um. Yeah, I'll challenge you, and even for my friends who love to go out to eat at restaurants, I challenge you guys that, you know, you you cut down on, you know, going out to eat, and yeah, try to cook your own food, guys, so you know what you're putting in, in it, and um, so as I go, I did show you this before, yes, lemon is a great way to season your food and replace well, to cut down that sodium that, you know, if you love to have your food salty, if you like to go for the salt shaker, why not add some lemon juice, lemon juice to your, your um, food? And it would actually flavor your food and it would spike, it would encourage your taste buds and give you a better, um, a better, um, make your food taste better. Yeah, so try that, guys. I challenge you to use more lemon, lemon juice. And yes, if you do have high blood pressure you want to definitely use the the lemon juice and you want to drink it um, I did talk about it in um, my previous video about drinking your warm lemon water each morning first thing in the morning as you get up you drink um, warm lemon water so um, that's my challenge to you guys and um, as um, the <laughs> the um, the physician in the Bible Luke in Luke 14, Luke 14, 24 and 25, Luke 14, sorry, 34 and 35, he asked the question, he said salt is good. And he said, if, you know, if salt get, uh, if salt is, um, loses its flavor or if it's tasteless, how can it be salted? It's not useful to, it, not even for the ground, it's not useful. And so we got to throw it out. So um, let us Use salt, salt in moderation, guys. And I pray that, you know, you will ask God to show you how you can, you know, regulate your taste buds. Yes, like I said, the lemon juice. Lemon is great. Regulate your taste buds. And Lord, let the Lord help you to um, live a healthier life. I hope you'll have a wonderful week and God be with you.